Okay, so lastly, I want to ask your opinion on something. So in the famous story of Baba Buddha in Mata Ganga, she prepares a fancy meal that he rejects. He only accepted the simple meal that she made herself. So when Langer began, it was simply dal and roti. But today, we see unhealthy foods being served, like pakoras, jalebi, samosas, and sugary sodas. So considering th that sake, have, do you believe we've strayed from what Langer was supposed to be? Or like, is it okay to serve things like that? So, well, um, it depends. So, so that way, even Guru Nanak was also careful. We people, you know, often everyone, we want black and white answers. Okay, should we wear blue? Okay, yeah, blue is, you know, like blue is American culture. Blue is boys' color. Pink is, you know, girls' color, right? We people like to think, okay, is this right? Is this wrong? Most of the time, things aren't absolutely right or wrong. It always depends on the context, right? So, so first thing is that, you know, first thing is that, uh, let me explain a little bit. The main context of the Gurdwara, it has to be Bani, right? So again, let me give you your, your, again, your, 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 your school example, right? That will be make it easy to understand. You go to school, school has a cafeteria. The cafeteria, you believe, should serve he healthy foods, right? So I, even though recently there was a lot of movement that you should not serve Cokes and all that in the school cafeteria, which is a good thing, cafeteria, because their student, you know, they should serve healthy food. Healthy and relatively simple food, right? But once in a while, you know, there the school is having some celebrating something, say some graduation day or something, and then they decide to serve cake or something else. Is the, is it wrong? No, it's it's nothing wrong, right? However, what will be wrong if they say, well, we were going to increase your lunch period, cafeteria period, from forty-five minutes? You get forty-five minutes, half an hour. Um, I think less than that. You probably half an hour, and then you probably have five, six hours of classes, yeah. then they say, okay, we are going to make your cafeteria time like five hours and the study is only half an hour. Mm -hmm. Then there is a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, and when you do that, then it does not matter whether they serve simple food or, or complex food, right? So, 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 again, coming back to your question, to me that I see that as a wrong that, that people, when, when people are coming to Gurdwara, if they're spending so much, first of all, you have to eat, you have to serve and eat a healthy food. So Guru Nanak's own words when someone asked him, you know, what should we eat and what? He said, Baba, hor khana khusi khwar, jit, jit, jit khadde ya, tid, 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 peedat, you know, man mein chale vikare. You know, again, I might have forgotten a little bit words of the Gurbani. But Guru Nanak, Guru Nanak, he did not define black and white rules because then, you know, people will always find, you know, loopholes. So he said, eat something, eat or drink or whatever, something that is good for your body and that is good for your mind. It does not distract your mind. So that is a very powerful statement, you know, because now people will say, should we serve your dal roti, sir? No, dal roti is a, is a Punjabi culture. You know, you, if, if you're talking like we are okay Indian, we understand, but if, if we are there, there are American Sikhs. You know, is dal roti definitely better? Not necessarily, you know. So, so again, then, then we are getting hung up on the idea is that, okay, we should be mindful of what we are eating. So the, so the question is, okay, is, uh, is uh, eating jalebis good for your health? E eating samosas good for your health? Probably not, but, you know, once in a while it's okay, but, you know, having every time it's, it's not a good sugary food, you know, then, then where do you set the limit? So does, they are not good. They are proven not to be good for health. So they are not good. They are definitely not good. But but on the simplicity, again, I have even seen, I have I have even, you know, worked in the Langar kitchens. Sometimes people make dal, they put pounds and pounds of butter in it. That's not healthy either. So so just because it's a dal roti, that doesn't necessarily mean always healthy. Now, question is, it, to me, that it's a healthy. So some, you know, there is a modern trend, millennials, the, the avocado toast. So to me, somebody asks, oh, can we serve avocado toast? I would say, yes, that is healthy. You know? But somebody can, you know, can say that it is elaborate. So, so, so the point I was going to come to is that it's not a black and white thing, you know, that you know, simple versus there. The idea is the main, as long as your main emphasis is on Kirtan, and people spend most of the time doing the Kirtan. Now you earlier started your question with, with Mata Ganga Ji and Baba Buddha Ji's the story where Mata Gangaji she prepared the langar. So now that that sakhi has been 
you know told many times in this context but i felt the some way we even misrepresent the sakhi so in the sakhi so when baba buddha ji he rejected first time the the the, the langar that Ma- mata ganga ji made it was not the reason for rejection was not just that the food was elaborate that was not the reason the reason was that because mata ganga ji first of all she did not prepare all the langar herself she employed other people prepared the food she she did prepare elaborate food and when she she went there she 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 rode on a on a on on a on a rath ride kind of the horses and all that so she went there as if she is a she is like a queen so so it it was all of that 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 demeanor that that baba buddha ji did not like so so point is that you know the, so next time then she prepared the food herself and she walked there so in a humble way so that is the example that guru tell us when you make the langar so it is it is not about whether you made elaborate or simple it is about how much effort you yourself are, are putting into it so even if you're serving say dal roti but if you're going to say oh, i'm going to have the food catered then you haven't really put any 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 effort into it so the idea is that you you do cook it yourself and you you and you be mindful that i'm going to serve this langar it is healthy for the people right and then and then then doesn't matter what what you cook you can cook anything so again coming back to guru nanak shavad guru nanak's guidance who started the langar baba hor khana khushi khwar jit khade tan pidiye man mein chale vikar he said don't eat anything that is not good for your health for your body and that is not good for your mind it distracts your mind and all that covers a lot and we live in a we live in a very modern age we know pretty much what food is bad what food is not good it's not like we don't know so we can make that decision ourselves doesn't matter what you serve as long as it is healthy and you know you know and, and it's there it's something that you would and, and you you put your love when you're cooking it and the main thing when you serve it in gurdwara your your primary uh, primary time spent energy is on the gurbani is on listening understanding or doing vichar or trying to see how we can apply it in our re- real life you food should be secondary to you then there is, doesn't matter what you serve and all that everything is okay so that is where i i would end okay so thank you for talking to us um thank you for educating us about the origins of sikhi and langar and I w- I hope to see more of you in the future. Well, thank you thank thanks to you and to Nishkam TV. I'm always happy to share my views. Uh, again, as I said earlier, you know that that the some of the things we are trying to define the term which are bigger than us. There is always a challenge. So I I am not perfect. So I might have made certain mistakes and errors. And, you know, and I I take the responsibility for that. I knew she's going to do a better job than me. Good job. Thank mm-hmm. you.